Today we're going to be showing you the King Wi-Fi Max setup and operation. The King Wi-Fi Max is ideal for RVers, truckers, campers, tailgaters, and all mobile adventurers who want to remain connected to the internet with superior Wi-Fi performance. First, we'll take a look at what's inside the box itself. You'll get the owner's manual, a 9 volt DC power supply, a detachable 2.4 antenna, and sleeved inside of the center is the King Wi-Fi Max itself. You'll notice an empty port on the side of your Wi-Fi Max. We need to attach that 2.4 antenna to this empty port. This same port can be used to attach our easy to install upgrades, such as the King Swift and the King Falcons, to get the best range possible. Now let's plug the power supply into the wall, plug the DC end into the back of the router, and wait for our 2.4 and 5G lights to be on solid with a flashing system light. You'll need to know your router's SSID, which is located on the bottom of the King Wi-Fi Max. We'll be using a laptop for this demonstration, but a tablet or cell phone can also do this setup. For this video, we'll be extending our King Guest 2 network with our King Wi-Fi Max to make it a better connection. Select the same name as the SSID on the bottom of the router. You can also select the 5G option as well if you see it. Once connected, go to your internet browser. You won't have internet at this time and that's normal. We do need to set some things up here first. Go to the website http colon backslash backslash mykingwifi.com. You'll open up to the router's main page. Over on the left, click on Wi-Fi settings. Then, Wi-Fi name and password. You'll see the name broadcast in both 2.4 and 5G. You will need to delete the entire name before typing in a new one. Type in your new Wi-Fi Max name, set encryption code to recommended, and enter your own eight character password. We'll do something simple for this video. When renaming the 5G, just add something to note the difference in the name. Again, set the encryption code to recommended, and finally a password, then click save. It may take a minute for the router to reset with that new name. Best to close your browser, and you can see now we're no longer connected since we changed the name to King Video. Go to your new name that you had just made and connect. We're turning off Auto Connect for instructional purposes, but you can leave it on if given that option. Enter in your password you had just made, and then click OK. Now we're ready to get that King Guest 2 to repeat off of our Wi-Fi Max and extend its range. Go back to your internet browser, and again, go to the My King Wi-Fi webpage by typing in http colon backslash backslash mykingwifi.com. Go to Wi-Fi settings, and then wireless repeating. Make sure it's enabled, and the Wi-Fi Max will now scan for available networks. Click the drop-down and select the network you're looking to extend. We're going for King Guest 2. Add any password needed for that network and click Save, and you'll receive a router reboot prompt. Click OK, and you'll see the rebooting Please Wait come up on your screen. We'll need to wait until it's 100% before continuing. This will take a minute in real time. Since we opted not to auto reconnect, we'll see a message like this. This can also happen if your device is auto connecting to other networks, since it will default to those when your Wi Fi Max reboots. Let's go back to your Wi-Fi settings, click on your Wi-Fi Max name, add in your password, click OK, and connect. Now you're all set. Go to your internet browser and enjoy your extended connection made possible with your King Wi-Fi Max. To get even more range, be sure to check out upgrade options through our website at kingconnect.com or through your local dealer. 
like the King Swift antenna that sets up with a simple one-wire attachment onto your King Wi-Fi Max. Setting up somewhere new is an easy process. Go again to the MyKingWiFi.com webpage, select Wi-Fi settings, wireless repeating, and on the upstream name, you'll want to connect to the new location's Wi-Fi you're trying to extend with your King Wi-Fi Max. We had selected King Guest 2 before, but instead we're going to connect to the repair department. Select whichever network you're trying to repeat, and then enter in a password. Click on Save, and it'll again reboot like before, and you'll be all set up with a new repeating signal. That's it for the setup for our King Wi-Fi Max system. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.